Golden State Media Concepts Social Media Podcast. Time to hashtag everything. We talk about all the fun, crazy stories on social media. From Instagram to Facebook, Twitter to Tumblr, or probably even Friendster. Join us each week as we explore the quirky side of social media. It's the Golden State Media Concepts Social Media Podcast. It's simple. It's simple, such a sad song. The one that, the one that we rely on. To get us, to get us. Hello and welcome to the GSMC Social Media News Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host Heidi and I am joined by the lovely podcast host Ariane. Hi. And today we are talking about a couple different social media topics. I would say the first two have something to do with the ocean and water because the first one is an underwater restaurant. Conveniently named Under. (laughs) (laughs) Perfect. Which was perfect. And this restaurant is in Norway, and in Norwegian, Under can also be translated to Wonder. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I thought that was cool, because they're like underwater, like wondering, you know, like the wonder of the ocean. I like it. Is the water cold, though? Is it Norway North? Yeah, it's so it's really cold, and they actually chose a location that's really stormy. So, like, to get, like, all the big waves and everything, which freaks me out. Yeah. They, like, they were going to choose one location, but then they're like, oh, actually, we want to go to this part where the water's, like, choppier oh and, God. like, scarier. Does it get in? Well, it's underwater, obviously. So yeah, yeah. It so, it's, like, this, like, cement structure with, like, super thick cement walls. And it's, like, it's sort of like a square, but, like, the sides are rounded like a box. Okay. But it's rounded. And then, like, part of the restaurant is underwater, so it's almost at a slant, and the bottom part is underwater, and then you enter in at the top part and kind of then go down the stairs and enter into, like, this area where you have a big window, and you can see, like, all the fish and, like, the wildlife and the kelp and everything. It looked pretty cool, but also scary. Yeah, how do they keep it from, from the water flooding into, like, the stairwell? So the top... I guess is high enough up out of the water oh, okay. that the waves don't do that. And then the architect um, said they had built it where it was like almost um, like concave. So when the waves hit, they like went sort of like ag- against like into it as opposed to like fighting yeah, the structure as much. It. Yeah, okay. yeah. So it was sort of like a tunnel to kind of keep the waves more in control. I guess, so that it didn't splash over into the restaurant, like into the doorway right. or anything. Because I don't think the waves got high enough to like hit hit it i guess right i, mean, I would assume <laughs> so it's actually designed by a norwegian company um called like snowheda or something i'm not exactly sure how to pronounce I, that it's the o i don't know how to pronounce the, yeah the o with like the slash, the slash in it. Through it right yeah i feel i'm i'm sorry norway <laughs> <laughs> i don't know how to say that in i'm sure the proper way but it's a hundred and ten foot long structure it's like an oblique or ob oblique oblique it's like a concrete slab. So if you were to look mm-hmm. at it, it looks like a concrete box. Okay. And it was submerged in July of 2018. And now work is underway on the interior just to like complete it. Oh, wow. And it will have a public opening in spring of 2019. And it's like, it's set to accommodate 100 guests. And there's already a wait list, apparently. So if you want to eat there, the reservation list is already super long. Wow. So you're probably at this point, if you want to go, if you're like hearing this podcast, you're like, great, I'll go all the way to Norway. Maybe you're already in Norway, (laughs) but uh, you're going to have to wait a while. What kind of food do they serve there? I didn't look too deep into their menu, but I know that there will be Norwegian food and like seafood, obviously. Seafood is always good. Yeah. And I'm, I mean, you're right. You're in the ocean. So I'm sure it's very fresh. (laughs) Oh, man. and it can so we can seat 100 guests and the total internal area is about 5,300 square feet um, and when they submerged it they had to fill containers with water and place them inside so that it would like weight it down and oh, they wow. had to do that before they could secure it them um, they've secured it with like 18 different anchor points okay which I mean I don't think it's gonna float away but that way it doesn't move you know in the water sure and it's 16 feet below the surface. 
So like the part that you're sitting in to eat is oh, 16 okay. feet below the surface, so which is do crazy. Do they like fly or fly? <laughs> do they see like fish and all that swim above them or is it just through the sides? Um, it's kind of like if you go into like a tube and the bottom of the tube is a window. And so oh, the bottom yay. is like where you're sitting. Okay. So it's like you have some solid walls on the side, but then mm-hmm. if you kind of like were to look forward, it's just a giant glass wall where you see like the fish. So it, That's like, they, cool. it's really cool. They had like an artist rendition and it kind of looks like you were looking at the fish like more straight on, you know, like yeah. there's some aquariums where it's like a tunnel, like a shark tunnel mm-hmm. and you can walk through and see them above you. It's yeah. not like that. It's more like you're looking at them like straight right, at okay. them. Like yeah. as if you would be like in a submarine. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Like, if you were in a submarine and it had, like, a windshield. Okay, yeah, It'd kind of be like that. Okay. Yeah. But I thought this was the first underwater restaurant, but it's actually not. Um, I think the Maldives. Maldives? Uh, Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've heard of them. In, like, the tropic areas, they have a couple underwater restaurants, actually. And they do have one where it is, like, the aquarium tank, Mm -hmm. where you're, like, walking through a tunnel, and there are, like, sharks and stuff swinging over you. But I'm sure that's a very different ocean experience, because that's, like, more tropical. Right. And Norway is, like colder and you have different fish and everything i saw one that was excuse me that was in the south pacific and they're like tables so it was like a restaurant right Mm -hmm. off the beach but Mm -hmm. the restaurant was in the water so like their tables were set in the water so yeah and then like it came maybe chin high Uh or knee high Mm -hmm. but then it was like the um the sea Sea life. Or, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Um, Just like swimming around you? Yeah. Yeah. Like near oh, your wow. feet and everything like that. And then the tables were above the water. Oh. The waves weren't like Norway big, but. <laughs> right. Yeah. They're probably smaller. Yeah. Yeah. But it, that was pretty cool. Well, and it's like warm water too because mm-hmm. it's in the South Pacific. Mm-hmm. So. I, I feel like that one was pretty if cool. you just like drop a piece of food and the fish just like swarm you to I get know. it. <laughs> I'd be so scared though because I don't like feeling things rub against oh, my yeah. legs and yeah no my that'd be scary yeah i that's like um i actually saw something in, i think there was like a restaurant in asia that had that too where they just kind of like flooded the bottom like the floor area of a restaurant and there were just like fish in there but that fe- feels dirtier to me because yeah. like the ocean you know you have currents and stuff yeah to, like move stuff around exactly and i don't like the idea of like sitting in a pool with fish <laughs> or with other people just yeah you know like biff barefoot soaking. Yeah. Soaking, in there. soaking with the other people that's it's like eating in a sauna like that'd be terrible yeah oh no oh gosh (laughs) they also the architect also said about this restaurant under is because it's cement on the outside Mm -hmm. they've built it where it encourages like uh mussels to grow on the outside of the restaurant like on the underwater part and that will become like a mussel reef and the reef will attract other marine life so like as to make your like eating and viewing experience really rich with like a bunch of um, like fish and everything around you. And it, it uh-huh. looks like they're in an area where there's like lots of like kelp and stuff. Yeah. And it looks pretty cool. Oh, I'm seeing. OK, I'm seeing the picture now. That looks. Oh, God, that kind of looks scary to go inside. They're like when they drew it, like what they think it's going to look like, it's kind of dark. Yeah. Which kind of scares me a bit. Maybe they meant for it to be like because it looks like it, the picture is taken at night. Almost. Yeah, I'm also wondering if you know, like at a fancy restaurant, it's always kind of dim lit. Yeah, I wonder if maybe they want to kind of have it like that. So, what's the price there? Did it say? I did not look. I mean, I'm sure I'd have to do some currency calculation to get right. it to like U.S. dollars. Oh no! But I'm sure it's very expensive. It almost looks like a sunken ship. Yeah, kind of. Like if you take the, like the the back end is like yeah. in the water, and then the front end is sticking up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty big window, though. Yeah, it's um, it's thirteen feet tall. Okay. Yeah, which is yeah, that's, that's big. Crazy. Yeah. The view is good though because it's like right at the bottom. You can see like the um, what yeah. are those like, like the, the kelp, like the forests? Plants. Yeah, the plants yeah. underwater. Yeah, and you can see like you can actually see, like it looks at like the ocean floor because the yeah. restaurant bottom hits the ocean floor. Right. So you and can see that, everything on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, no, it looks cool. I mean, I feel like that'd be, like, quite an adventurous date, you know? You're, like, really trying to impress someone. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> if you, you date a marine biologist. Book <laughs> in advance, guys, if you're gonna... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Book way in advance right. and then plan, plan who you're gonna ask. It looks pretty romantic, though. Like, even if it, if it was, like, completely at night and mm-hmm. then had some lighting, mm-hmm. like, some nice yeah. lighting. I know they said a, a big problem with, like, an underwater restaurant is the glare 
between the like the lights in the restaurant and then the ocean there aren't any lights so right. if you don't like um get your light right you just won't see anything like if you look out the window you just won't be able to see anything right. because okay. of the difference of light mm -hmm. so i think they worked really hard to make sure you could see as much um as they wanted you to right. so just like really take in all of the wildlife which is cool i, I would go I'd be a little yeah. scared. I mean, maybe I would go when there's not like a storm or something. Exactly. I find a clear day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the restaurant owner was saying that like, you should come in a storm to really see like all like the mother nature and everything. And I'm like, no, no I don't. <laughs> I don't like the idea of that. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't want to be in an underwater concrete box in a storm. <laughs> but then I feel like with the picture, even though it goes under the water, I don't feel like you would really see the storm under there you wouldn't you probably just see like if you kind of like looked up you just see like the ocean the wave like, moving above. yeah the yeah. waves yeah yeah but that would just be scary walking into it and just like yeah. seeing like a storm and the waves right that would not make for my dining experience to be relaxed no i feel <laughs> and then don't go if you're claustrophobic either oh yeah that looks yeah it's pretty just the entrance alone it's like you want me to go into this dark tunnel for yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah to the bottom of the ocean yeah. what <laughs> How yeah. sturdy is this? Yeah. No, I agree. But it looked cool. It yeah, looked cool. It's pretty cool. If you're like I sort like of it. into some adventurous dining, yeah. I think it'd be cool. Exactly. Go yeah. skydiving first. Yeah. Have yeah. Some food underwater. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That would be quite a date. Yeah, it would. Yeah. All right. So we're going to take a quick break and then we're going to come back and talk about our next underwater news story. Always on the go, but the day just won't be one without your Hollywood fix. Let Golden State Media Concepts Entertainment Podcast take care of that. An all-inclusive look of pop culture. Hello and welcome back to the Social Media News Podcast. We are continuing our theme of underwater, and the next story we are talking about is a shark attack. Scary. Very scary. This happened in Encinitas, California. It happened on September 29th, and it's actually, they were saying it's very rare to have a shark attack in this area. Um, so, I mean, that was like, okay, well, I guess that's a little what, bit better. <laughs> where is Encinitas? So it's like um, Southern California. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So I guess there was a group of kids that were on like a little field trip. I think it was actually like a church, like youth group event. Oh, wow. And they were um, going like lobster fishing or lobster diving, diving for lobsters. Okay. That's what it is. Um, and they were only like 200 yards out from the shore and about like nine feet of water. And a little 13 year old boy was attacked by a shark. Wow. Which is very, very sad. What kind of shark? Well, they don't, they're, they don't know for sure. So they think it's a great white, but they weren't able to find the shark. What? Yeah. So he got attacked and then everyone was yelling, you know, like shark attack. And they all went back to the shore. And a, um, I believe they said it was a lifeguard and an off-duty police officer who pulled the boy into like a kayak. So someone was kind of kayaking nearby. So they all just left him there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what? I mean, I'm not going to take on a shark. Yeah, no, I wouldn't either. <laughs> and so they like pulled him onto the kayak and like tried to like, help him like put pressure on his wounds and then um he had to be airlifted out to the hospital and go into surgery immediately wow that's how serious it was yeah serious it was yeah he he was i think when i read this article so around the 29th of september uh -huh. they said he was in critical condition but he was gonna he was probably gonna make it okay but he had to have a bunch of surgeries on his like his torso i think oh, that's I was just gonna where ask where a bit of at yeah which i think you know, like there is um, like the surfer who had like her arm. Her arm, yeah. And I think it wasn't an arm. It was like his torso, which is why it was so bad. So it like was really trying to eat this. Yeah. Boy. Oh, it was trying. It was trying to eat him. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And like, I guess they said they haven't been able to see the shark since the attack, but they want to be able to identify what type of shark it is. Right. Because if you identify what type of shark it is, it's easier to like track based on what you think their behavior is okay. because it varies by species mm -hmm. to like figure out like where it's going to go next or like to kind of judge like, is this just like an off thing or does this type of shark like swim in this like deep of water often right. kind of things like that. I would still be scared anyway, like with the church group or the youth, I'd be like, you can't go past where you can't touch. Because right, nine yeah. feet is pretty, like, you can't touch a nine feet. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, this just exasperates my fear of the ocean. Yeah, you know, which exactly. doesn't help. No, there's all. sharks. You right, see? exactly. <laughs> yeah, proof to all the kids there are sharks exactly. out there. Exactly. No, we can't swim in that. No. Yeah. <laughs> but that's also scary that they didn't like spot it earlier. You know, like yeah. because sometimes in beaches they will see a shark sighting and then you won't be allowed to swim for a while. Uh -huh. But they said that they didn't. I guess they didn't see it beforehand or anything. It just kind of came out of the blue. Wow. Like, li probably literally right out of the blue. I, exactly. <laughs> Which is terrifying. <laughs> every pun intended. Yeah, right? <laughs> every pun intended. And they said that after the attack, they've, like, the beaches, people can go onto the beach, but they haven't been letting people into the water. Right. And the line was like, we have not had any trouble keeping people out of the water. <laughs> wow. Okay. There's a shark. Okay, we'll stay Yeah, on the we're just gonna <laughs> sit over here. <laughs> right. And this was actually Encinitas' first attack in, like, the last one they had was 30 years ago. Oh, so wow. it's not it's not common right I guess. so it's still a safe place it's not like this has happened right it's not like it happens all the time yeah which is yeah that's still really scary i am i don't know also on a random note that's kind of funny when i was reading this article on um, like i read i like went to the bottom and all the comments everyone was like oh so the police are just gonna go after a great white shark huh like oh, you, don't gosh. E you don't even know what he looks like and you're just gonna go after him like it was like oh, one wow. person who was kind of serious and then everyone was just joking of yeah. like there go the cops just like stereotyping those great white sharks right. again <laughs> like they're just gonna go after him like oh he was gray huh yeah oh, what about gosh. all the other colors of sharks yeah, that know. you're going after <laughs> Well, so. that's how it is nowadays anyways, because it's like, <laughs> if anything happens, it's like yeah. you can blame anything and yeah. everything. All else. the sharks. We're exactly. going after all the sharks right? now. <laughs> Gosh. So was it like a full, did it save? Well, they obviously don't know if they don't know what shark it was, if it was full grown or Yeah, not. they don't know. They don't know. They don't really have any identifying features of the shark. So. Not like the bike marks don't tell they anything? They might. I feel like they probably would be able to tell a little bit from that. Right. But, um... I don't think I don't think some of the authorities were in touch with you know like the doctors oh, okay. who were working with the boys. So I'm not sure. Oh, that's so sad. Though. I know it is really sad. It's a I... cool like war story though. Like <laughs> yeah, when he true. gets older, he'd be like, yeah, these scars are from right. You know, bullet holes. Or something. <laughs> when, he, when he goes back to <laughs> youth <Yeah>, group, <laughs> that's not cute. Okay, yeah. it's not <laughs> right. As a parent, I would be like, no, don't. That's not yeah. cool. You got attacked by a shark. Right. He can make up some cool story, but then I'd be that mom that'd be like, tell the truth. You yeah. got bit because you were irresponsible. Stop. No, yeah. you didn't it's fight the fault. shark. It just yeah, exactly. came up to you. <laughs> Could have did more. <laughs> Yeah, poor boy. Yeah. Well, I think okay. he'll be okay. I think oh, he'll good. be okay. Um, yeah. Another topic that I guess we're going from water to fire. Just to keep the up same the thing. elements, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> theme of, we're going now to the theme sure. of the elements. Um, so the next one I wanted to talk about is there is a wildfire in Arizona that was sparked by a gender reveal party. What? How, okay. How? So, Why? so, you know, okay. So gender reveal parties are like, when people are having a baby and they want to like reveal like oh this is what the gender is and the parents might not know yeah. you know like someone else sets it up for them the, i have a whole other opinion on gender reveals <laughs> there's a party for everything now yes. i swear yes but how okay so how did they spark a fire so for the party the father his name is dennis dickey he's 37 of um, tucson arizona okay and he was going to he was going to shoot a rifle at a target containing tannerite, which is a highly explosive powder, and it was going to explode, and it was going to reveal like either a blue powder for a boy or a pink powder for a girl. Yeah, that all around, you're going to shoot an explosive. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Come on, Arizona. I mean, you all guys of are that. like 150 degrees. What do you yeah. think was going to happen? It's already hot. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I, I read this, and I was like, that was also like... You know, your girl wasn't like, um, this is, this very is a bad idea. Right. <laughs> also, like, they were kind of like in a wooded area. Oh, wow. You know, okay. so I'm like, oh, this God. just was not thought through at all. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. It burned 47,000 acres <gasps> that were owned by Arizona State. So it was a huge wow. wildfire. Yeah, it was. What did they call it? Like the sawmill fire? I think it like burned a bunch of area. Did it, they get charged? I'm sorry. I didn't mean yeah. To you off. So they. So when the fire originally happened this was maybe what was it was like maybe a year ago mm -hmm. and then it's just recently that he's being charged they're coming out and publicly saying what um he's being charged with and so when the fire started he called it in and he said i'm i'm the uh, cause of the yeah. fire so he wasn't trying to escape authorities right. or anything but he has to pay more than eight million dollars <gasps> in restitution yep oh my gosh yeah 
it's starting with a hundred thousand initial payment and then he's making monthly payments after that um and okay, he has who, like five years probation is this just like some regular joe schmo like who has eight million dollars yeah i don't know i think it was just like a regular guy oh my gosh and they're about to have a baby i know just put i them know in so much i mean they should have thought this through first of all oh but for sure all that your child is not going to college sir <laughs> yeah no that's an awkward story too of like when your like baby's born and they're like oh you know why is all this area burned down of like well <laughs> <Your dad's fault. laughs> yeah yeah totally yeah, that was really sad. Oh, yeah. I'd be like, go talk to your father. And he's the reason why you don't have a college fund either. So tell him things <laughs> Yeah, you that. want a car when you're go 16? On. Like, I don't no, think so. we got bills to pay. <laughs> right. Yeah. No. I. <laughs> we have the government so to pay. Oh. What, and like, I feel like that's like, the, you want to do something nice. You yeah. know, like you want to celebrate the birth of your child. Right. And it all just, it all just goes bad. Yeah. Do it like everybody else. Just say it's a boy. It's your, what was that? Um. I think it was like a 1-800-COLLECT commercial. Wave. I don't even know if you would know, but <laughs> the, the dude finds out that he's having a boy and he doesn't have any money. So he calls his like parents or something on, on collect. Oh. I, have you ever used 1-800-COLLECT? No, I haven't. So when you dial 1-800-COLLECT, then you say your name and then dial the number. Mm -hmm. Or you dial the number and then say your name. So Yo, they, yeah. 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 So they know who the call is going exactly. from. Exactly. Yeah. So he's like... Um, we had a baby. It's a boy, and he just says it like all fast as far as his, his name. And I'm like, okay, hey, yeah. Why don't you just tell people what it is? Because I've seen so many crazy um, gender reveal parties. Oh yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, no. When they have like a box of balloons of different yeah. colors, and Do you like open simple. the balloon. Yeah. Or like if you have a balloon and you pop it, and yeah. it has like the different like confetti Co colors yeah. and stuff. But you want to shoot it dynamite basically i know i Why? mean uh, i'm sorry arizona but i just was like this is this is right. an arizona thing it has to be where did you go to school <laughs> yeah <laughs> well also in the article they said like it was a highly explosive material yeah. so he had to know right exactly also, I'm like why do you have this <laughs> where did you get it from yeah, i don't know I, I would never be like, let's just shoot at a flammable thing and see what happens. Yeah. It's probably going to catch on fire. If That's I was the wife, happen. yeah, the wife or the mom or yeah. whatever, I'd be like, this is so a deal breaker. Okay. You're on your own on this. I'm going to take care of the baby. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. don't need like, your... this is a, this is an accident just waiting to yeah, happen. Exactly. No, for sure. For sure. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. Oh, and like, family. so $8 million and like he's on probation and so he came over and he said like this is this is what happened so he wasn't convicted for like avoiding right. um okay. the government or anything but it was the um coronado national forest which also burned and so it's federal land and it's operated by the u.s forest service oh, which is probably okay. why it's so much money right it's because it's all land that is owned mm -hmm. by the state yeah so that was just a bad move yeah it was I don't not know. smart at all people no. if you're gonna do a gender reveal party please do it you know be smart about the situation i tell my kids that all the time it oh doesn't yeah even matter be smart about the situation yeah think it think it through right what could happen think about it simple is okay simple yeah simple is, is okay. okay cut we a white cake you'll have like blue in the middle or oh, yeah. pink there you I, go it doesn't matter yeah for sure for sure oh all right we're gonna take another break and then we're gonna come back and keep talking about social media news mm -hmm. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. Hey! The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play.
Welcome back to the GSMC Social Media News Podcast. So in our last story, we talked about a wildfire that was started by a gender reveal party gone wrong. I would also like to mention that um, the father has actually not come out yet and revealed the gender of his baby. <laughs> Probably so scared yeah exactly baby. he doesn't want people to identify his kid know. you know as like the one who started the fire know, you know what your dad did yeah, <laughs> yeah. that would be terrible to be made fun of on the playground he's gonna see it if they like recorded it or anything yeah Poor yeah kid. and his name is out there so oh yeah if the baby has his last name it's oh, yeah that's so sad done for yeah oh. but yeah i just feel bad that you threw a gender reveal party and now you feel in you know just ashamed to exactly. say your baby's gender oh i know it's just so sad real quick what, how does the wife feel about it they did not talk about his wife so i don't know i mean yeah i'm not sure obviously she's probably not very happy about what? it oh, yeah. <laughs> that probably opened up a whole other can of oh worms. yeah so that was definitely a fight yeah. after that oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and they say that like finances is one of the top things that break up marriages oh, so God. eight million dollars yeah. later no i can't even imagine that'd be so stressful oh yeah yeah also um for the fire firefighters from at least 20 different agencies fought the fire for about a week so, a week yeah so it was a big forest fire oh my well forty-seven thousand acres yeah yeah but yeah it took them a week yeah oh my gosh yeah i feel really bad arizona what are you guys I'm doing sorry, dude. <laughs> no it's bad and it's already hot and it just got hotter oh i know <laughs> and i don't even think it rains there to clear that stuff i out, know so it's like oh i'm so you guys sorry gotta breathe that I too know. <laughs> i know you probably feel so bad. I'm not laughing at you guys, Arizona. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> wish you the best. Um, so our next story, it doesn't have to do with underwater or the or fire. I'm sorry. I ran out of connector themes. <laughs> but this is about selfies, something that we, we all, all know like and love. We selfies. I take amazing selfies. I'm just saying. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to have to teach me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this was, uh, this is basically if you're dying to take a selfie. Um, so a study has come out saying that more than 250 people worldwide have died while taking selfies in the last six years. I was going to say, how late is that? Just this past year? No. No. Six yeah. Years? Thank God. Yeah. The last six years. Gosh, what are, okay. I just, uh, how do you die? Like, what are you taking one off of a cliff? I think so. So there are a lot of like, um, in the article, they had a lot of like stories of people like, uh, there was some young guy who went to Yosemite and tried to take a selfie near a waterfall and he slipped and fell, which was so sad. And would like, did he drown or just hit his head? On I think, something? I mean, I'm sure he drowned and hit his Either head and way, all the gone. above. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, which is, and gosh, that photo, you'll never have it. I mean, not that you want it. I'm sure. Well, but. They, I don't know. <laughs> yeah excuse me sad. they <sighs> probably do like have it on his phone yeah well, if, i mean his <laughs> phone might have fallen too though so yeah. they, they might not have found the phone it's at the bottom of that yeah waterfall. yeah hmm. so sad so researchers um associated with the all india university of medical sciences mm -hmm. which is a group of um public medical colleges in new delhi so mm -hmm. they were the ones who did this study and they analyzed um 259 selfie related deaths from october 2011 to november 2017 and they found that of these the leading cause was to be drowning um followed by instances involving transportation so like if you're taking something in front of like an oncoming vehicle basically like or a train or a yeah plane. yeah like a train um, or like plane. if you're like you know, people like will stop in the street to take selfies yeah you know so that that oh happens my gosh. yeah and um also the other cause was falling from heights Okay, so how do they know that the co oh, well, I guess the onlookers are like, oh, they was yeah, to take a it's selfie. probably like reported. So like an autopsy wouldn't be like, oh yeah, he was taking a selfie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. arm is in the position of selfie. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> just, you know, stretched out. Oh yeah, yeah, holding, thinking you have your thumb holding thumb, the phone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, this so is horrible. That was really sad, and they actually said that India has the highest number of selfie-related deaths than other countries. But other countries after India were um, Russia, the United States, and Pakistan, which have wow. large numbers of selfie-related deaths. I always see. Now, I'm not trying to come at India in any kind of way, but I always see like weird selfie like memes with them. Like I saw this uh, one like forever yeah. ago, and this chick had like glass sunglasses mm -hmm, on, mm -hmm. and they looked like the lenses looked like mirrors. <laughs> and she was like driving and she her she took a selfie and the caption was "Ugh, stuck in traffic but through the lenses you can see oh, there's like nothing no. on the road i don't even think she was <laughs> on a road she was just in her car and i was like you do 
<laughs> realize we can see the reflection oh right? yeah that's like that's like all like the mirror yeah like photos gone wrong oh my gosh yeah, I've, seen, I've seen so many weird ones of those that's yeah they crazy. actually um so i think they were saying like more than 85 percent of the victims were between the ages of 10 and 30 10 10 as young as 10 yeah yeah what? also related to the india like n- having the most selfie related deaths i do remember a story where a man was um he was killed by a bear because he tried to take a selfie with a bear why why would you kn- i don't know i guess it was he like an injured the bear? bear yeah so he was at a party and then he went out to go like go to the restroom it was like kind of in the wilderness okay. and he went out to go to the bathroom and he saw an injured bear nearby and he just thought i'll just take a selfie no you and then it. the bear killed him yeah yeah I don't know why you'd ever think that's okay. No. No, not at all. Sleep, oh let sleeping dogs lie. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know why you'd go do that. It so. like lured him to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just so thought it was mean. a snack. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Saw a guy like, oh, perfect. He's got a cell phone. <laughs> he looks plump. He'll take a photo with me. <laughs> <I'll eat> him. <laughs> that's so sad. And um, <laughs> I guess some researchers are saying that they suggest no selfie zones. So, like, certain areas that are kind of dangerous, they want to, like, make them areas that don't allow you to take selfies, like, near, like, bodies of water or mountain peaks or, like, the tops of tall buildings. They're saying, like, you just should outlaw selfies here. But I don't think people would listen to that. Is, like, no common sense the thing now? Like, why I mean, apparently, you, for 259 you know, deaths, yes. <laughs> that's so sad that you have to put in a no selfie zone because somebody just doesn't know this might be dangerous right could die. yeah i'm just gonna go on this degrading cliff yep. and, you oh know it'll probably be fine it's it'll like that one picture. rock that where people take pictures but it's yeah. like two feet off the ground yeah 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 do something like that <laughs> <laughs> just to make it look or like i'm at the right. beach but you're just in a sandbox right. exactly oh, yeah. there you go do a backdrop or something <laughs> <laughs> do a <laughs> green screen train <laughs> if you want to be that adventure went to the risk i mean that would be safer oh they also God. said russia has launched a safe selfie campaign so they have a slogan and it's um even a million likes on social media are not worth your life and well-being and they have it posted with like little infographs mm. so like little images like displaying unsafe selfie tactics like like a <gasps> stick figure posing on like power poles or oh like holding God. a gun <laughs> wow that yeah. is crazy yep they did it russia did it they're not taking any more chances jeez yeah and in 2016 mumbai mumbai declared um 16 no selfie zones across the city because they uh they were a lot of deaths were coming like i don't know how many a lot is yeah. but a fair amount of incidences were happening in those areas so they what? decided like we're just outlawing it and these are all just like top of buildings or- yeah they're probably just areas of high risk oh my god yeah (laughs) (laughs) wow so this is a public service announcement please be careful when you're taking selfies and don't do anything dumb up and down all around make sure you're safe (laughs) we were actually just talking about this relates to like pokemon go like when people were playing pokemon go and not paying attention to where they are and just like absorbed in their phone and getting like in traffic accidents and stuff like that by cars walking off cliffs yeah please just be safe use your common sense (laughs) take just look up from your phone you know it's not worth it do the old-fashioned where where you ask somebody to oh, take yeah. your picture can oh, you yeah. take my picture right here please and like everyone has a phone they're not going to take your phone exactly you know? <laughs> or i'll be like take it with your phone and then you can send me your notes. Yeah. <laughs> there's a good pickup line for you guys <laughs> i feel like that is like the common like pickup line. like oh can you just take a picture for me or something yeah you know we've got to bring it back we'll bring it back so yeah just be careful yes look both ways do. please them. do yeah <laughs> Golden, yeah, Golden State Media, we just want you to be safe. Right. Take <laughs> as many selfies as you want. Yep. Just yep. don't die doing it. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> Literally dying uh, to take a selfie. I know, I know. No. So thank you guys so much for listening. Um, and Thanks. we will be talking to you soon with more social media news stories. Tune in next time. You've been listening to the Golden State Media Concepts Social Media Podcast, part of the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. You can find this show and others like it at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Download our podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Just type in GSMC to find all the shows from the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network from movies to music from sports to entertainment and even weird news you can also follow us on twitter and on facebook thank you and we hope you have enjoyed today's program